Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning, we want to talk about your latch assembly. And specifically, I want to talk about the striker post. Now, this is on a customer's airplane, and we're not going to change this because it obviously works for him. This is a, an aluminum post that someone has made that's bolted in by an AN3 bolt. So they cut some 1032 threads in there, and that's what holds him. And then your arm comes and grabs that. Now, this is supposed to rotate freely, and this one does not. What is supposed to be here on the bottom is an 832 countersunk screw. It goes through this plate right here, and it captures, if you look at your striker post, it has a bevel in one end. And that bevel is for an 832 rev nut to sit perfectly in there, then the screw comes up from the bottom. You'll notice that the uh, rev nut is proud a little bit of the nylon, and that's because this will always spin, and this is how it's supposed to come in through there like that, but we're going to leave this alone. And then while we're here, let's talk a little bit about shims. The shims are what determine where your latch goes, and the windshield is here in front of this. This bolt's on the back side, and we have eight shims back here then what that's telling us is this is pushed forward quite a bit. And what we're going to have to do with the new seals is we're going to have to move some of them to the forward side so that the canopy will, the latch assembly will move forward a little bit with respect to the bow to be able to grab the canopy to the new seal. So when you take your airplane apart, remember how many shield shims are on the front, how many are in the back, and what your, um, your post stack is supposed to look like. It's a nylon nut, a rev nut, and an 832 countersunk screw. So we hope you found all this informative and useful. I'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel and have a good day flying your Grumman. Thanks for watching.